ERP Next allows you to have multiple companies and also have a multiple users. Now consider that I am a system manager and I have certain companies that I am managing right now in this ERP Next system and I also have a various users. Okay, Let's go to company list now. I'll just show you all the companies. So these are all the companies that I have created. Okay, Now all these companies are responsible for different work and I'll go to user list now. And these are all the users okay so what i'm trying to achieve here is that i want consider that this is one particular user so this particular user should only have an access to one company they should not have access to all the other companies over here okay so now i have logged into another account this is the uh, star recruiter account you can let's see the profile so you can see this is a star recruiter account that i have logged in from and now let's go to company list Oh, sorry okay let's go to company list see I can I'm able to see all the companies and I don't think this is this is ethical so also if I go to employee list I can see all the employees okay and then if I go to user list also then I can only see myself as over here that is star recruiter over here okay so now let's restrict uh, star recruiter only to this particular star recruitments okay now how do you do this if I go to user list from here you see I cannot set any permissions over here why is it because I'm not a system manager wait let me yeah. from here I'll go to user list and I'll go to star recruiter and okay so the star recruiter is only HR user and HR manager and they are not a system manager okay so that's why they won't be able to set a permissions but in this account this is my main account so I am a system manager so I can set permissions for all the users also so let's set a permission for star recruiter and I'll only allow so how to s restrict them to one company I'll go to company setup and then I'll select one company to which I, w I want to give them access to so I want to give them access to star recruitments and I'll make them their default company and let's save it okay now let's go back and let's go to company list now so here you can see there's only star recruitments over here and it is much better this way because they only have an access to this particular company and also if I go to employee list you can see that I'm not able to see any other employee because right now I only have an access to that company and I think this is the right way to do so that's how you can restrict all the users so if you have multiple users like right now let's go to user list and so i have this genius recruitments over here and what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to set user permissions for genius recruitments also i think it's already set so i'll just show you what the permission is so you can see genius recruitments is allowed only this particular company that is genius recruitments so I hope you understood how to set a permission, how to restrict a user to only one company in ERP Next. And this is really important. So I hope you understood this. And if you have any doubt, please mention them in the comment box below. Thank you for watching.